Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is your Khan Baba. Today is March 25th, Monday afternoon. I hope you are doing well. God will give you more happiness for you all. So without any further delay, let's jump right in and explore the video. In the latest salvo in its fight against inflation, Singapore's central bank tightened monetary policy on Friday, allowing the national dollar to appreciate to curb domestic cost pressures in a move likely to bolster the currency's increasingly favored status as it demonstrates resilience against the fast appreciating U.S. dollar. The Monetary Authority of Singapore, MOS, said in a statement that it would raise the midpoint of the Singapore dollar policy band, up to its prevailing level, a less aggressive move than some observers expected. Specifically, MOS refrained from adjustments to the slope or width of the currency band, both closely watched policy tools it could have used. The MOS uses exchange rates, managed against a trade-weighted undisclosed basket of currencies from Singapore's major trading partners, as its primary monetary policy tool to ease import costs, the main contributor to inflation in a city-state that imports almost everything it consumes, leaving domestic interest rates to shadow those of the U.S. Federal Reserve. By not changing the slope of the band, the MOS took the calibrated approach of not allowing the pace of currency appreciation to quicken further. This is especially given the fact that the Singapore dollar is already one of the strongest performing currencies against the U.S. dollar so far this year, said Cheryl Chan, Sr. Vice President for Capital Markets at Digital Securities Exchange ADDX. While Singapore's dollar has indeed weakened against the U.S. dollar, depreciating around 5.7% against the greenback from the start of the year through October 13th, it has outperformed regional peers whose currencies have dropped by double digits over the same period and is trading at record levels against major currencies like the Japanese yen, now at a 32-year low. Wall Street banks such as Citigroup Inc. and Goldman Sachs Group are reportedly bullish on the currency, with the latter naming the Singapore dollar, our favored currency. In non-Japan Asia, in September amid wagers that it would rally against the greenback should MOS tighten policy this month, as it has. But a stronger Singapore dollar can also be a double-edged sword. An appreciating local currency has stoked concerns about the erosion of Singapore's export competitiveness, particularly with weakening demand from China now exerting downward pressure on the city-state's manufacturing performance and fears that other major trading partners such as the U.S. are slowing or headed for recession as they bid to curb inflation with rate hikes. Goodbye.